two years ago, I was diagnosed in my upper jaw with an osteoblastoma. Hi guys, I hope you have all been having a wonderful day. I just wanted to give you all a quick update on my health situation. Now it's not anything that's like serious. Basically I was in the hospital this morning um, in the teeth and jaw section of the hospital um, for a checkup. So basically what happened was a bit over two years ago I was diagnosed in my upper jaw with an osteoblastoma which is basically a benign tumor of the bone. Um, if I wouldn't have done anything to get rid of it, the doctor said it could have become cancerous and thank God we caught it in time and we stopped it in time. So what they basically did was they took out this section of my jaw, including bone, including three teeth. Um, that surgery was like really hard on my body. I had like a swollen right cheek for like about a month. Um, the swelling took a lot of time to go down. The area took a lot of time to heal, but thank God we were over that. Um, so I'm really happy that that part was over. Um, the next part we did was in February of 2019 where I got a bone transplant done. So right now it's been six months since the bone transplant and from the CT scan that I took about a week ago, the doctor said that everything looks good on the CT and we can move on to the next step, which was which would basically be to put um, screws in my mouth, which would be like the root of the tooth. And then six months after that, I'll be able to add like the fake teeth or the porcelain teeth instead of like the, the teeth that were there before. Tomorrow I am going in again to the hospital. Can't wait to have like teeth in this area again because I've always felt less confident I, I didn't feel like I could really truly smile like all the way like I like I usually so it, it brought down my confidence a lot I just wanted to update you guys and now I'm heading back to make some lunch hi guys today was the day of the surgery I'm already after it it was over like really fast something like half an hour I still feel like this side of my face is like numb I can't feel too much it's starting to like swell up a bit which is a obviously normal. Can't really smile. Can only smile on one side. Can't really smile on the other side and I have like uh, blood. We are on our way back to the house in Nicolabot and still after my surgery it still hurts a bit but yeah. it's getting a bit swelling. But my baby was so worried about me. So cute. He didn't want me to drive there on my Amazing. <laughs> so, how was the driving experience? Tiring. It's too hot. It's so I know. Hot. That's why, you guys, if you're hearing like a really loud noise in the background, it's the air conditioner. Any lower than that, and we'll be basically boiling and cooking ourselves. 35, 35 degrees Celsius, you guys. Oh my god. We've been back for a few hours. I uh, already ate lunch and I took like a short one hour nap. I just felt like really exhausted. So I'm having like a second lunch because my first lunch is really small. Basically for the first 24 hours I'm not allowed to eat anything that's hot or hard. I can only eat soft food that's cold. So what I'm having right now is some like 
mashed potatoes and like mashed fish patties. So that's gonna be my second lunch for today and then I need to take my antibiotic pill. Now at our dinner, I made Mayor two grilled cheese sandwiches. Grilled cheese? The, I, I'm really happy that I brought the toaster because everybody's been loving making grilled cheese sandwiches every day. Yeah. And I'm spoiled today because I only get to eat soft food, so I'm eating a lemon an orange cake. I was about to say <laughs> lemon cake and orange, orange cake. cake. And we're watching one of our favorite shows on Netflix. Yeah. And this was our day was for our day. today. Yeah. It was a very crazy day, but thank God it's over. And hopefully tomorrow crazy, will be a better but it's day. Over. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Let us know what you think. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in our next vlog. It's time to care. We should just share. Love one day.